The All Progressive Congress APC Edo State Chapter has expanded its campaign efforts by reaching out to Edo State Indigenous worldwide. Deputy Gubernatorial Candidate Denise Idahosa recently visited the Edo Diaspora Organization in London to formally declare his candidacy for the upcoming elections in Edo State, Nigeria, in preparation for the September elections. Idahosa, a former honorable member of the Federal House of Representatives, representing Uvia Southwest, Uvia North East constituency engaged with the Edo Diaspora Organization in London. With previous roles as chairman of the House Committee on Legislative Compliance and commissioner for the Edo State Ministry of Investment and Public Private Partnerships from 2014 to 2015, it also reiterated his dedication to serving the people of Edo State and providing quality leadership. We have to talk about the way forward. We are here to talk about good governance. The reason why I'm here today is to have an interactive section with my people. Because the people that are sitting here, we have the affirmance that consists of a good note. We have the Edo Central, the Asian Pacific people, we also have the people of the Edo South. So these are really Edo people. They are here because they want to know the plan that we have for Edo State in the next four years. With previous roles as chairman of the House Committee on Legislative Compliance and commissioner for the Edo State Ministry of Investment and Public Private Partnerships from 2014 to 2015, it also reiterated his commitment to serving the people of Edo State and providing quality leadership. We also inherit the assets and liability. We are going to review that because there's one community we call Okoma. I think what they did today is not fair. It's not fair. And we will review it and see. Them the Addressing concerns about property demolitions by the current state leadership, he said, Joe Ehigia Musoe, the convener of the Edo Diaspora Association, emphasized the importance of the association and their ongoing dialogue with the state government. We in the diaspora will have a huge responsibility to our families over there in that the life we live here, the work we do here are all for our people at home. A good governance will alleviate us of those burden. Okay? And that is why we believe that we need to institute the right governance in our state. Uh, our plan is, uh, number one, to put the people first and for the uh, progressive interest of the people of uh, the state. Uh, do, uh, do people's plan is our plan, you know, and I believe that uh, we as uh, the APC, we are prepared, we are set, and we are uh, ready to launch our manifesto, which is the people and people first. Other members of the association echoed the sentiment of engagement and collaboration in furthering the interest of a dual state. It was an insight about uh, the, the working plans and pattern that uh, Honorable Idaosa uh, known as Denko, is uh, planning to bring into the, uh, the government. If they, if they come out, uh, if they emerge as uh, governor and deputy governors, in case maybe. I think the event was fantastic. I think it gave um, the Edo lights in London, in the United Kingdom, an opportunity to um, interact with the aspirant of the APC, um, deputy governorship candidate. Uh, speaking to him, and just scrutinize him and asking questions, he was able to you know, answer adequately. And that gives me so much confidence that the young people can come around and even do better. I hope that politicians with their rhetoric is not uh, in this situation. We pray and hope that the best candidates become governor and deputy governor. So my people, we are here to for your support. Victoria Oketa, Captain TV, United Kingdom.